What's up SEO stars? It's Florian from Squirly and it's my pleasure to show you this brand new developer update video on Squirly SEO 2021. Well, uh, in the beginning of the year, since we initially launched in February 2013, we thought that what we would announce would be that Squirly SEO turns 8. And, you know, we were really excited about this announcement. But from then till now, actually, our really amazing Squirlians, the people working uh, to really move things forward in this company, um, they've, they've done a fantastic job. And it's like, yeah, so it's no longer just like we're turning 8, which is like kind of a big deal. But we're also um, doing pretty great this year. So 2021 is the year of Squirrely SEO. I've announced it on the emails and it's time to announce it everywhere. So, you know, it, it was July uh, at the beginning and we've just realized that our estimated ARR for 2021 is already above $1 million. Now, this is a lot for us and it's not something that we've done in the past uh, in the, in the past year <laughs> especially in 2020 it was not such a great year but this year has turned out to be absolutely amazing and we've had amazing growth so it's not just the new annual recurring revenue that we're getting uh, the fact is that we now have 18,000 paying customers for our solutions for all of them or the products that you can see um, if you were to go to squirrely dot co slash software so we have a bunch of great products that you can just check out here on our website you can even go and click on the store to be able to see what's up uh, on the slash software page and you can check out the products what they do and look at everything that we have to offer and we, we've got a lot of products and the idea is that this year we've managed to reach 18,000 paying customers for our solutions. So this is like a lot better than we've ever done before and that we've ever thought that we would do in 2021. But in 2021, uh, even though all of our great products and we've launched new products have done well, uh, the fact is that Squirly SEO is really like the leader right now in all of our groups of products. And... Uh, you may be asking why. Well, our Squirrely SEO smart strategy, the artificially intelligent assistant for SEO, has actually gotten a lot better this year. And you've all received updates to Squirrely SEO 2021 at the beginning of the year. So we haven't publicly announced that. We didn't do like official developer update videos. We didn't do another keynote and launch event with tickets and stuff like that, like we usually do, because we really wanted to test out if everything is absolutely perfect. And I think that what I've just told you earlier speaks about the success of the new product that we have. So 2021 is the year of Squirly SEO, and it's all because of the improvements that we've made which we launched starting in January for some of you in February and for some of you in March 2021. And we did kind of like a, a silent roll of everything. So some of the users received the new features, some of them didn't, some of them only received them in March. So that's how it went because Squirly SEO is part plugin and part software as a service, which runs on our own cloud infrastructure and on our own servers basically. And it's also a web app that you can use without ever having to use WordPress at all. So I know that a lot of you don't know that, but Squirly SEO is actually software as a service plus plugin. And that's why the plugin loads very fast because the processing and the really intelligent and the really smart techie stuff, they happen on our servers. They don't happen inside your WordPress site. So that's why your WordPress can run really well. Um, and why Squirly SEO brings you a huge advantage over your competitors because your competitors are probably using those other plugins which load super slow and bloat uh, the databases and do a lot of horrible things inside WordPress. So we've managed to do a lot of things. Now some of them were like changes based on AI and machine learning for the chance to rank score. It gets dynamically updated as new algorithm changes are detected. Now this is something that we've always wanted to do and in the 2020 launch event for the smart strategy, uh, 
you know, we didn't know if this is going to happen, if we can actually manage to do this, and we've managed to do it. So every single change, every single step that changed in Google's algorithms, which were related to the 113 ranking factors that we look for, uh, we could identify when uh, peaks and peak values were, were taking place and were starting to happen. And then according to that, we could remodel the algorithms so that the chance of ranking are always very, very close to what Google itself uh, thinks about a page when it kind of like looks at a page to see what's going on. So uh, we see that if, if a page has 100% chances of ranking in the next few weeks, it's going to be on the first page of Google search and it, it doesn't really fail a lot. I mean, usually when you have 100%, then you are already uh, in a couple of weeks, you're already on the first page. As Of course, other things may draw it back, like you're starting to lose focus on that page or you don't bring traffic to that page or stuff that has to do with you. But if you keep working and keep pushing harder once you reach 100%, you will reach the first page of Google. So these are some of the cool things that we've done since then. Now, the SEO goals and challenges, uh, we wanted to do this since 2012, but we finally have a capable AI that can handle user-specific SEO goals. And as I've said, not only that, but since Quarterly SEO 2021, we can actually pinpoint when Google diff different Google updates take place and we can change a lot of things about how our ranking factors are calculated so that you will get a score that's very similar to what Google sees in order to decide which pages to rank. Now, there are other crazy things like we've announced <laughs> Uh, at first, we've announced like 400 and something features for Squirly SEO, and it's actually over 650 features, but you shouldn't be afraid of this because you now have a very powerful AI that can pre-configure everything about a plugin. And everything is set up for you out of the box by our AI assistant for non-SEO experts. It's perfect because Quarly SEO does most of the work for you automatically. So you basically, you don't need to know all of these features right here. You don't really need to know anything about them. You could basically start getting success and start being successful with Quarly SEO without ever consulting this page or reading anything about it because you just need to go and use the next SEO goals from Scorely SEO, especially the new ones. We've sit, switched the section from daily SEO goals to next SEO goals uh, because nobody has time to actually do them on a daily basis. So now you have the next SEO goals. And if you focus on the next SEO goals, you will do everything that you need to get awesome SEO and to rank on the first page of Google search. So just focus on that and everything will be perfect. But of course, if you're an expert, if you're an agency, if you want to really see what's under the hood and get your hands dirty and greasy with all the work that's involved in SEO, then you can definitely have a look at this page and you will see tons of features that nobody else has. Um, and you can see what you can configure. And also, you know, we've made it like a gamification. So basically uh, using Squirly SEO is fun and that's what customers say this year anyway. Uh, and it's like a game, so turning reds to greens will actually lead you to really big wins. And you can see one of our customers talk about his experience here. If you click the link, it will send you to a video when, where one of our customers talks about his experience of just turning stuff from red to green and never actually looking at features and still being super successful with Squirly SEO. So in case you're like really geeky and really want to get nerdy and go into the details, you can definitely read the page. But otherwise, just know that you have tons of features ready for you. Most of them are already pre-configured. Everything is set up out of the box. On howto.squirly.co, you can actually go and see exactly what everything is set up out of the box and what everything looks like once it's set up out of the box. If you have any questions or problems or you really need to know what's going on and what Squirly does automatically for your websites, uh, you can go on howto.squirly.co and you'll find all the information there. So this is pretty neat. And since Squirly SEO takes care of everything during setup, um, you don't really need to do anything else because it's pre-configured. So you just need to go and use the next SEO goals and you will start ranking 
all of your websites. So that's like pretty, pretty cool. Um, and we actually have a guarantee for this and I will get into guarantee a bit later, but you have a guarantee for the success and the results, which is super cool. And we, some, it's something that we've only introduced recently. So that's why it's part of the Squirly SEO 2021 update because we didn't have a guarantee when we started the previous version of Squirly SEO. So it's also probably the reason why more people are successful because now people go and they see the guarantee and they start doing what we say in the guarantee and they start having success. And then obviously everybody wants to continue their subscriptions and wants to talk about us on social media. They want to talk about us on review sites. We've had a lot of influencers and press this year. So it's been absolutely amazing. Uh, what, what kind of like things have happened and to really get an idea on this. So it's scorely.co slash press. And this year, and that's why I keep saying the 2021 is the year of Scorly SEO. We've been awarded the high performer medal for summer 2021 out of the uh, software as a service platforms on G2. So this is like a very high award that we've won right now in the summer of 2021. Gardner Digital Markets ranks Scorly SEO as a top product in its category, which is SEO platforms. Uh, we were listed with Ahrefs, Moz, and other people, other companies. Squirly SEO listed among the best SEO tools of 2021 um, by Captera. So a lot of cool stuff. You can see more information on squirly.co slash press about the company. We've got tons of new downloads, lots of subscriptions sold, many keywords ranked by our customers. Uh, and you can see some of the really cool key points, even the fact that we have over 650 features pre-configured during install. It's all hand-holding, completely educational. We've actually switched the education a lot this year, which is also another reason for our success. Um, and Squirly now provides a fail-proof fail paint-by-numbers way of managing and improving a site's SEO, which is super cool, and that's what got us some of the awards. But then we've also been recognized by industry leaders, uh, which you can see here on the screen. We've made the news in 2021. You can see some articles and what different uh, media outlets have uh, said about us. So here's here you can see some of them. You can see more media mentions and you can click on this uh, to see what people have written about us. Right, so there's like a lot that you can see, like even search engine watch. And there's like a lot of different things and you can even click them. The company spotlight with investments, emerging uh, Central European and UK startups. Then you can see uh, more interviews and stuff where I talk about why we started Squirly, how we're developing it and why we keep being successful after so many years on the market. Because, you know, usually companies don't really last long and especially in the field like online marketing and SEO, you don't see companies doing like nine years like we've done. Because in September, we were actually celebrating nine years as a company even though the software was launched uh, a few months after we started the company, the company itself is almost nine, year, nine years old already. So it's kind of a big deal. So you can see industry leaders talking about us. We were making headlines this year, uh, as you can see here as well. So this, this year has really been awesome for us so far. Uh, and it's the reason why I kind of decided to finally start uh, showing everything. So. It was a bit hard to do because we've had a lot of work to do. So in January and February, we launched the new Squirly SEO. Then in March, we got ready for a huge campaign. It brought us over 10,000 paying customers. So a lot of new customers came in during April and May. And then in June, we had to do a lot of uh, fixing, support, a lot of stuff. We've uh, created tons of new features that were tested by those 10,000 new customers that came in. And we've just had our hands full with updates and you will see huge update packs. So basically in today's video, I'm talking about the launch of Squirly SEO 2021. But after the launch of Squirly SEO 2021, which finalized completely in March, in April and May, we've had huge update packs uh, <laughs> that we've done uh, that we didn't even have time to, to talk about until now. So that's going to be shown on the YouTube channel and on the emails on in your inbox during the the next few weeks so it, it's it's a lot 
so yeah in the, in the past there were just a few features and now there are tons of features and we've spent a lot of time documenting this so if you go to the features page it's actually huge and that's why we've also placed things like searching so you can see search and you can see that you can go to page two to see more so if you don't find the things on the first page you can go to the next page so you can look at something like quick redirect for example uh, that's something else recipe right so now you will see feature 77 it's a schema for recipe you can see how many schemas we have we've actually added more and we didn't have time to document them here uh, inside of this because we've added more schemas and a lot more JSON LD inside the sites schema for Google Maps so you know I know image SEO for example you may want to search you can see what we do for image SEO and you can keep clicking the icon here for searching you can keep clicking it and it will keep trying to find other places on the page where we talk about image SEO so if you have something in mind you can definitely use the search box because otherwise it's pretty hard to navigate such a huge page and you can keep clicking and you will see screenshots with where you find this and you will talk about it and here's here are a lot of things that you can see about image SEO so basically we have a lot of features that address the problems of image SEO we have a lot of features for open graph a lot of features for keyword research a lot of features for SERP checking which is like getting squirrely to see uh, on what position you're on on the Google search engine and we've done huge improvements to our SERP checker so you know that for the free plans and the pro plans we are using Google search console but on the business plan and on the web dev kits we are actually using um, our own SERP infrastructure our own cloud services which detect the position you run on Google and we do it a lot better than Google search console because we actually provide all the values in real time like if we search for you now we will know exactly where you are uh, and we will not be biased so a lot of you will go and search in a browser but that will give you biased results which are not actually true for all of the market so that's like a really big problems when uh, <coughs> when you're trying to do SEO it's not really an amazing thing to do and I talk about this on hseo.tv because you will get fake results from Google so our cloud services for the SERP checker will actually tell you your exact position in the exactly exactly the given day that you want to know your position uh, and it will be unbiased so it will be what other real people will see when they search on Google so that's like really really cool so you, you can go and play around with the page and you can see that it has just tons of features so on the first page we have um, yeah, you can see how many features we have. Yeah, so there's, th there's a lot, right? And a lot of them actually were built in 2021, which is absolutely amazing. And it's really ridiculous that we didn't present them until now, but there's like tons of things that you can do with Squirrely SEO right now. So on the first page, you have 300 features. Then on the second page, you have the others. And if I scroll down, um, I think that you're gonna find like a ridiculous amount. And we've even done lots of changes, like with bulk actions for your keywords, bulk actions in SERP checker. And you can see a lot of features so yeah 637 features here but there are a lot more to come we've built a lot more and we didn't have the time right now to document it even though actually on howto.squirly.co you can find tons of information that we didn't have last year that we didn't have a few months ago so we keep building the howto.squirly.co so that you can easily search and find any kind of information that you want about the plugins so now it's like a huge database with knowledge on how to use Squirly SEO to the maximum. 
there are tons of things that you can see here even the guarantee for SEO even success and results uh, you can see our uh, our guarantee which we introduced uh, this year we actually introduced this this year as well the SEO pro results guarantee so there's a lot of things that we've done this year which is most probably the reason for our success right also the keyword research UI never times out now um, we've placed new servers which are called uh, workers they start processing data for us and it's very independent of all of our other APIs and servers so it's like individuals working with different processes even though they are robots they're not actually human beings these workers but they have their own processes and they start their own processes so that's why we've actually managed to speed up the time it takes for everything from keyword research to focus pages and the UI should never time out right now in keyword research and we are going to create something even better to be sure that the process is gonna run even more smooth. But the fact is that you won't have as many timeouts as you did last year. So that's really, really cool. Now, there's 50 starting points for keyword research. Uh, if you're using the deep keyword research module, which is available only on the, only on the business plans, for Squirrely SEO, but it has 50 starting points for keyword research and it uses our keyword research formula in the algorithm and it analyzes like in real time 5,000 tweets in a matter of maybe one minute. So the technology that we've put into Squirrely SEO 2021 is absolutely impressive and it's a lot better than anything we've ever done before. I mean, we are surprised ourselves at some of the things that we can generate using Squirrely SEO right now. And it's also one of the reasons why we started Rank Jumps because now we can have lots of cool people from our team just using Squirrely SEO for our customers and our customers become successful. So that's like super awesome. And it's a lot easier for our teams as well because uh, with Squirrely SEO, with the 2021 version, we can bring a lot more success to customers uh, who are paying us to do their SEO. So that's like also something that's super impressive and also came this year. All right, so these are the formulas used by our tool. You can also check them out on the blog and use them manually. But our keyword research now, use, now knows how to implement some of these formulas. Uh, I don't think all of them, but most of them are implemented. And you will find really great ideas when doing deep keyword research. All right, so at the start of the year, we've also presented the new license stacking. So um, if you had paid subscriptions, you could always stack your licenses. So place them one on top of the other and extend your limits. However, until now with license stacking, you could only ever like increase the number of websites that you have under your account. So, you know, you could buy one pro version, have up to seven sites. Buy a second pro version, your limit is now up to uh, 14 sites and so on and so forth so that's how it was but starting this year in 2021 we've actually done a bit more and we give more uh, keyword researches per account more focus pages per account we give more serp checker credits and with business stacking we give a lot more focus pages f per account so instead of pro stacking you can also do business plan stacking and you can now increase a lot of things, which is super cool. And we've never done this before. So now it's even more important than ever to stack multiple subscriptions. If you have more customers or more websites or site projects that you actually want to work on. So that's something that's really cool and it's worth the mention. Um, in all the help inside Squirly SEO 2021 and Education Cloud Plus, we've actually tried separating content optimization, which seems vague and can be interpreted in different ways, to search relevance and page optimization to types. So by doing this, we've um, managed to help a couple of users uh, become better at SEO because a lot of people, they don't know what they, they're doing with the, the SEO Live Assistant. So basically with the SEO Live Assistant, you're trying to make the page to become search relevant. So that's search relevance optimization because you're making the page and the content, the text on the page, you're making it relevant to the people who are reading the page 
and who are searching on Google and who need to find your content. But with page optimization, which is a wholly, a totally different thing, uh, you're basically talking about meta information, which is information about the page, like schema, JSON LD, you know, all of that stuff, then open graph, Twitter cards, um, meta title, meta description, DC publisher stuff, that's content that's about the page. So it's really important to know what's on the page and what's about the page and to have a really clear view on how you separate those because they are two completely different aspects of SEO and getting them mixed will cause really big problems with your rankings and with your strategies and you won't be able to rank because you don't really know what you're doing with SEO. So in Scrolly SEO 2021, we really tried separating that and better explaining all of our concepts to our users. All right. So there's been <laughs> quite a few updates <laughs> weren't there and there's more. So we now have success messages in most of the UIs of the new Squirly SEO 2021. So those success messages that bring you progress and achievements and show you how well you're doing, how much more traffic you got, how many more positions you managed to get, um, other increases in authority, in social media and everything that you can imagine so you have success messages now in most of the uis of the new scrolly seo 2021 which was not the case before also on education cloud plus if you pay a monthly subscription or you pay for the lifetime subscription of education cloud plus you now have access to a master class for scrolly seo 2021 which teaches you everything about how to use the new scrolly seo also you can scan for new seo goals uh, this feature has been completed and it's placed on the new, run new SEO test button and we've announced it recently. Now we've, as uh, on the development side, we have new core functions defined for the whole platform. So this was super, a super huge build and was not just like a really small <laughs> update because we've actually had to change a lot of our technology and our programming and our code. We've also done new APIs. So we have API version two for services inside the plugin and those on the cloud app, which were not available during April, 2020, when we first started releasing Squirly SEO 2020. So now in Squirly SEO 2021, you get uh, all of the ad advancements and all of the, like the really great technology upgrades that we've done, uh, which weren't ready by the time we launched last year. And those on the cloud app. So those on the cloud app actually mean those that are on the software as a service platform for SEO. So the cloud app is actually from cloud.squirly.co. You can go and check it out. Um, and it's basically the cloud app. It's the SaaS side of the business, the software as a service. So the part that doesn't run from inside the plugin. Right. So we also have a new API in WordPress. So other than on our servers, we also have a new API that we use inside WordPress we have a better and more stable connection between WordPress and the cloud-based SEO platform, the software as a service. And of course this happened because as I've said, we've managed to uh, upgrade all of our tech, which leads to far better outcomes and far better connection. Uh, you can now do a lot more things. Even with the web dev kit, you can disconnect websites and you can do a lot of new stuff. Also SERP checker paid. Uh, I've talked about SERP checker earlier in this video and I told you that it's using our infrastructure to generate like the real results uh, where you're displayed on Google, not fiction and weird stuff that only you are seeing but the rest of the world isn't seeing in the same way. So our SERP checker paid is now included. So the business level SERP checker is now included on all accounts, but only for tracking focus pages. So it's going to be used on all the accounts. This costs us a lot of money to maintain and to run. And at the level and at the huge user base that we have for Squirrel SEO, this is something that's gotten really, really expensive for us. 
but we've um we've con we've started doing this and we don't care about the cost so much because it's super helpful so even free users can benefit from this um and for focus pages for the main keyword when you see the information there it's actually tracked using the serp checker from our business level accounts from our business level side of the squirrely seo plans and it's not using google search console so even on the free plan the main keyword of the focus page is going to be checked by our infrastructure which is super great news but just know that only the main keyword of the focus page is actually tracked using our infrastructure all the rest is done with the free with the free stuff from google search console so that's very important to know about this update um Right, so we have a new mode for tracking success of your entire keyword portfolio. As I've said, we've, we've done a lot and I think it's gonna take some time until we can actually go through everything here but it's really cool now that you can do much better tracking for your keywords so you have labels in briefcase and you could see basically for if, if i'm asking myself so how are my keywords with business 3.0 performing so i would just click the label with everything related to business 3.0 and if i had 20 posts i would see all of my rankings of course i think that i have no i actually have a few keywords so I can see for this how well I actually rank right now so you can see that for business 3.0 definition I'm ranked number two business 3.0 I'm ranked number 10 and business 3 space 0 definition I'm ranked 25 and as always I can check my metrics for this particular keyword and then for this and in the SERP checker, of course, I can see the pages that are ranked and everything. But it's much easier right now to see for the topics that you're most curious about to directly see the rankings by using the labels inside briefcase. So as I said, if I would want digital assistance, I would click on digital assistance and I would see my rankings only for the pages which are related to the topic of digital assistance. So as you could see here, I just clicked on business 3.0 and I could see the rankings for solely for my business 3.0 uh, ideas that I have. And I have new keywords and I could send them to rankings directly from this panel. So everything has become a lot easier to use. The user experience is a lot better. And I think that this is really great and it's a step forward for everything that we're doing right now. And also if I click on number two right here, it will take me to the SERP checker business. I have SERP checker business for the website and you will be able to see that uh, it's automatically filtered on business 3.0 definition and I can see rank details. If I wanna also see my social shares, the date this was taken uh, and the other data that I have right here. So this is really cool because you can go from briefcase directly to the SERP checker to find out more details if you need to know more about a, uh, a certain rank. And you can see that this is the path that it found me on. So for business 3.0 definition, it found me on the slash, so on the homepage. Now I can click show all and I can start seeing the other rankings. As I talked about progress and achievements, you can see progress and achievements. These are my averages. Uh, I see that my score keeps increasing, so the chart looks really good, and you can see, you know, keywords and everything. But this was available in the other stuff as well. So yeah, we've also got a new cloud version. <laughs> this means a new cloud app for the Squally SEO software as a service side when used from the app instead of using it from within WordPress. The previous cloud apps, which were on my.squally.co weren't really as performant, the user experience wasn't so good, so we've also managed to make changes there. And since we've done this, we've actually seen people 
using WordPress sites, together with Wix websites, together with Shopify websites, together with websites built on custom PHP. And it's really interesting to see that because of all of these updates, we've managed to make something that was already, you know, existing uh, because we've always had the cloud version. But now because it's actually good, people are starting to use it. So the software as a service side is a lot more used than it was in the past. Right, and now we're sending new emails with success messages and progress reports via email, along with audit improvements and links. And we have a new success messages assistant, which was launched on the 11th of January, 2021. So this is the thing that calculates all of your success messages. Um, it actually uses our crawlers and our workers to generate new information. It pulls all of that onto their server, onto the server of the success messages assistant. And then once it has results for users, it starts sending them out and placing them in different interfaces, like in the UIs, wherever it's needed, um, according to the section you're in, in Scrolly SEO and to the tool you're using from Scrolly SEO. And it's also sending you the results via email so that you can check your success messages inside the inbox. So this was also non-existent before Scrolly SEO 2021. All right, so these are some of the stuff that we've talked about already. Right, also in Scrolly SEO 2021, we've started doing a lot more prompts to help users learn about the 14 days journey. Now, the problem with the 14 days journey is that it's the biggest driver for success in Scrolly SEO, and still a lot of people don't actually take the journey. And the cool thing about the journey is that it's only 14 days, so it's two weeks. It's not a trial, it's not a software trial of any kind. We don't try to sell you anything. You have daily recipes for each day um, on a period of two weeks where you learn exactly what to do on every specific day to start ranking on the first page of Google search. And it's like one of the best things that you will ever see. And it's one of the reasons why so many people were successful with Scrolly SEO in 2021. Like the level of success is huge. Like just go to Captera or to G2. I've shown you that we are high performers. We are high performers because our people, our users and our customers had success. And most of them had success with next SEO goals and with the 14 days journey. So after people see that the next SEO goals are good and we know that and we know what we're talking about, they actually go to the 14 days journey and then they start getting results and like really good results. And how do I know that we get results and people get results? Because we guarantee results. We have a guarantee for results. And we've made more prompts everywhere inside the plugin and inside our websites that direct you to the 14 days journey and to the guarantee for results. The guarantee for results is super impressive because if you look at the conditions that apply to the guarantee, you'll basically learn the secret formula for having success with SEO and with Squirrel SEO. So it's all in the guarantee for results. You just need to check that out and you will see exactly what you need to do to become super successful with Squirly SEO starting right now. Yeah, as I've said, the guarantee for results has been added and made visible. Um, and we also have a better package of explanations about basic subscriptions, white glove subscriptions, fully managed SEO services, license management, and stacking licenses. So this was very important on the sales side for us to do. And it also helped a lot. So if we go to the pricing page, you can now see the pricing options. So these are the do-it-yourself prices, which is basically if you're using a do-it-yourself um, payment plan for Squirly SEO, where you do it yourself. So that's basically it. Um, your 
getting your subscription, you're managing your account, you're doing everything related to renewals, to canceling the subscriptions, to adding more subscriptions, deleting subscriptions, getting sites in your account, removing sites from your account, removing access to different people from your account, and all of that crazy stuff. So that's what you do. You do it yourself. So on this page, on the main pricing page, this is the DIY prices. Then if you need white glove services, you can go and check the white glove services section where you will learn that you can actually uh, pay us and pay our account managers to have your account fully managed for one year which means a lot of different things which you will see on the page if you go to white glove services you will basically have um, somebody telling you each quarter what you need to do what you have in your account and stuff like that so uh, that's where we also manage the licenses because otherwise if you don't pay for licenses we don't have account managers on the account at this price is managing the licenses for you so you need the white glove services if you want somebody else to manage the licenses also there is fully managed SEO our rank jump service where actually you get people from <laughs> my team from Squirly SEO uh, can you believe that the people from Squirly SEO actually helping you out and making the website work for you. So the fully managed SEO is like you can sit back and relax and all the SEO work will be done for you. Even designing land landing pages, um, buyer personas, keyword portfolio, everything can be handled with the fully managed SEO services. And I've got a really great team leader for rank jumps. Uh, his name is Sorel Nod. He's really, really cool and he's like one of the best people he built our entire infrastructure of workers for Squirly SEO and he really knows his stuff and he will take you by the hand and help you get started with our fully managed SEO services and we also have the web dev kit prices so we've started a thing called web dev kit quite a few years ago and we've just kept improving it uh, even before the b before we launched the alpha version we kept improving it with different agencies, different people who wanted more from Squirly SEO and have like really complex uh, use cases for Squirly SEO and with on how they communicate and how they work with their customers. So for them, we've built a web dev kit and now you can go and check out the prices for web dev kit. And then other than uh, the prices and the benefits, so it's like a supercharged business plan, which is made for agencies. So it's not the pro plan, it's the actual business plan. You can even see websites with business plan features, which are super cool and which are <laughs> really the best features that we offer. So it's not the pro, it's the business plan. And you get that and you get the dev kit level features on top of everything else that you see here, which are really good limits um, on all the accounts. So you can see why the web dev kit is a lot better than the average agency plan. So we have Squirly SEO agency, but it really can't compare to the web dev kit because the web dev kit allows you to do so much more. And we've actually in 2021, we've done the alpha version and then in April and May and June, we tested the beta version and now it's ready for more people and more agencies. Uh, to start using this service and it's a lot better than anything we've had before particularly for experts and agencies working with customers and with WordPress businesses so it's like in this case you're not the business owner or you're not the marketer but you're like the agency the development company or the SEO experts working for somebody and web dev kit brings tons of new benefits uh, that were never before uh, seen in Squirly SEO so there's a lot of really cool features. A lot of cool things that you can see here. So SEO management and WordPress SEO management. You can see some of the screenshots on how you can customize um, the experience for your users and your customers will totally love it. So this is like a really great deal and I'm super happy that in 2021 we managed to actually do the web dev kit and start making it successful. We have already over 500 agencies. I think it's somewhere from 600 to 700 agencies using the web dev kit already. So this is also really great. Uh, now it's easier to start a business plan trial for seven days. By the way, all of you can go right now on cloud.squirly.co, 
log in with your Squirrel SEO account and start a business trial because it's super easy to start it. You have a button that starts the trial and once the trial is done, you don't have to do anything because Squirrel SEO will revert all of your account exactly to how it was. And you won't lose any data, you won't have any problems with the switch. It's done automatically by our system. So it's really, really easy to start a business plan trial now and it won't affect anything inside uh, your account nor your WordPress site. Right, also the cloud version warns against total number of sites in the account and disables the access to the sites that aren't paid for. Um, so this was very important to do. So if you have seven sites on your plan, don't go ahead and add eight sites because you won't be able to use them. Um, and it will be useless, so you can have eight sites in the pro account, but one of them will be completely useless because Squirrel SEO won't do anything for that eight site that you haven't paid for. So this was also a very important update for us to make. Now, we give better explanations inside the first email drip campaign about the cloud account and the cloud services. We start being a lot better at explaining that it's software as a service plus plugin and not just a plugin in WordPress, but it's an actual <laughs> software and it's like a super huge platform for SEO. Um, it's competing with the likes of Ahrefs and Moz right now and SEM Rush, so it's a lot better than what we've had in previous years. Right, we've made changes to focus pages. You can now get green with a 75% SEO content optimization on the SEO Live Assistant. So this is also very, very cool. A lot of you have asked us for this and we weren't sure if we are ever going to make this update, but we've done it because we've consulted with um, uh, people who were using, who were helping us model the machine learning algorithms. And we could see according to all of the data that it's not very important to go to 100% SEO content optimization on the SEO Live Assistant. And it turns out that for most of our tests and most of our cases and experiments and simulations that we ran, uh, with the 75% SEO content optimization on the SEO Live Assistant, you will still be able to rank on the first page of Google without affecting the alignment of all of the ranking factors. So you know that in focus pages, we are super obsessed to have everything aligned for you so that you have maximum chances of ranking. But we've realized that it's not important to have 100%. You can now have 75% on the SEO Live Assistant and you will still do great on the Google search engine, which is why we now award the green light for SEO content optimization, even though you didn't fully optimize the page. Because in focus pages, there are over 113 ranking factors that are taken into account. And that's a lot more than you do with the SEO Live Assistant. So even if with the SEO Live Assistant you only have 75%, focus pages will know how to manage and how to handle and calculate all the rest. So you can get the green and you can be happy just with, um, you, know, you know, not having to optimize to 100% and it will still work. And we can actually say this now because we've backed all of our stuff with data. So we don't, we don't say anything that we didn't research. Okay, we have a new focus page improvement. You can see all the SEO Live Assistant keywords now in the interfaces on focus pages. So if you click on something, you'll actually see your keyword. Welcome to WordPress. This is how much has been optimized with SEO Live Assistant, SLA, SLA, SEO Live Assistant, 100%. And for this other keyword, it was optimized to 42%. And this is something new that we have. So. If you're wondering why on these Twitter messages we actually have this thing with SQ Road, it's because this is our new hashtag where you can see all of the announcements that we make. Uh, we may we make them using Squirly Social. Um, actually, everything on our social media is done with Squirly Social, which we also sell to different markets uh, through the Cosend brand, but it's still Squirly Social. Um, Right, so that's what we use to post this stuff. Now you can see this update and as you road, you can see the other updates that we've made this year for our entire line of software. Right, also we have, we've worked more with the market intelligence feature in Squirrel SEO and we've created new definitions um, for a competitor score 
we've updated everything and it's more accurate based on recent studies. Also in the first update pack, uh, there's a new onboarding sequence. So there's a lot going on here. So in the new onboarding, I'm loading it up on my screen right now. You can now see that you can choose your website type, if it's e-commerce or if it's something else. So it can be personal, it can be blog news, it can be a magazine, it can be portfolio, it can be small business, it can be local business, it can be a directory, or you can ch just check other and it will do the whole setup according to this, but you should definitely check like directory, local business, small business, portfolio, magazine, blog news, personal or e-commerce. So those are the types of websites and actually for the first time ever in Squirrel SEO 2021, the setup wizard that we have, the onboarding sequence, uh, starts pre-configuring everything according to what you tell it here. So a lot of the things that you will be influencing in the wizard will be reflected in the experience you will have with using Squirrel SEO. And now the coolest thing is that we've added your SEO level, so non-SEO expert versus SEO expert. So now you get to choose. If you're a non-SEO expert, choose non-SEO expert. If you're an SEO expert, use SEO expert. And according to this, once you start Squirrel SEO, you will be taken to completely different panels so that if you're an SEO expert, you start with the stuff that you really care about, which is activating features and making sure that Squirrel SEO is foolproof for SEO and it has everything that you could possibly need to make your clients or your own projects rank super, super high on the Google search engine because you've got everything you need to succeed. And if you're an SEO expert, this is what you're going to see the first time you use it. Now, if you're a non-SEO expert, however, you will get to see a huge banner that says that everything is pre-configured by our AI, which I've talked about at the beginning of this video, and then that you need to just focus on the next SEO goals, and it will try to take you to the next SEO goal section so that you start working on next SEO goals. And two completely different experiences. As a non-SEO expert, you will not have access to a lot of panels. You will not be able to do a lot of configurations because you shouldn't. So, if you're an expert, you should do those things and watch them. If you're a non-SEO expert, you won't need them because Squirly does them for you anyhow. So that's why it's super important to know that you can now have two completely different experiences of using the plugin. Right, so as I've said, the non-SEO expert versus advanced SEO user is now very cool. And also, if you're an expert and you go to the old feature screen that we now have in Squirly SEO, so this is, um, let me show you the all features. I go here to all features. And here at this particular stage, I am what is called the non-SEO expert. And you can see that our AI knows the best possible settings and coordinates over 450 SEO features. So you don't have to everything come set up right out of the box. And you can switch from automatic, which is right now, to manual. In order to fine tune and see what's under the hood, change everything manually to suit your every need. And if you want, you can make the switch. I'm making the switch right now. It tells me if I want to activate it. I'm activating it. So now I am in SEO expert mode. And I can look, activate feature. Here it says that it's already active. Here I can start activating new features uh, and I can see what else I can do. You can see that even the advanced SEO here is now marked on the right side of the screen. I can deactivate certain features like automations, Elementor website builder. I can deactivate front, front end SEO snippets, open graphs. I can deactivate Twitter cards if I want. I can activate Google News if I want. I can deactivate JSON LD. I can deactivate my sitemap. So there's a lot of stuff that I can do if I'm an expert and if I really know what I'm doing inside WordPress. Otherwise, you should just use the automatic section and go to the non-SEO expert mode and everything will be done for you. All right, so there's a lot of cool stuff. And we have a link here if you want to see all the 400 features list. We were very optimistic back then, just 400 features. It's actually over 
650 as I've told you earlier. It will take you to this page where you can see all the other features and you can read everything about them. All right, so this is a huge, huge bonus. But also, if you're a non, if you're an SEO expert and you reach this section, and let's say that you had um, Rank Math or Yoast or SEO Press, um, it would show you a banner here that would take you to the complete SEOfunnel.com, and it would tell you the differences between Squirrely SEO and those other plugins, so that you can instantly understand why Squirrely SEO is actually what you need for SEO and not the other plugins. So if you compare this with Yoast, for example, let's start the one with Yoast. You can go back and choose another comparison. You will see that Yoast has a lot of things with red, which is bad. So Squirrely has everything check marked with green. Yoast has a lot of stuff with red. And the thing is, this is the complete SEO funnel, which is a new concept that we've introduced in 2021 and even in Squirly SEO 2021 is the complete SEO funnel because you need to know what to do in each step. So basically people are searching on Google for different search terms, AKA keywords. Now it's Squirly SEO. You can first find out what they are searching for and the exact keywords they type in to the search engines. And we tell you that you need this step. Yoast doesn't help you with that step at all. It doesn't have any kind of help for you. But with Squirrely SEO, you can do this step and it will tell you that you can do it using keyword research tool, the research assistant and the history inside the research section. Also, once you've, you know that about users who are searching on Google, you can organize the keywords you found and plan the content you'll need to create in order to capture those searches. And this is done via briefcase, labels, filters, and the SERP results for the portfolio. Then you need to create relevant content, write search relevant text, place it inside the page. This is done using the cloud version, the Elementor integration, the DVWP Bakery integrations, the SEO Live Assistant, the Blogging Assistant. You can optimize as many keywords for as many keywords as you want. It's real time as you type. So there are a lot of cool things that you have here and you don't have on the other side because if, for example, in Yoast, you will see that it has a problematic check mark here. So it's not really checked with the green light. It's a problematic one because you can create content, but you don't have a cloud version because Yoast is just a plugin. It's not a real software. It's not a software as a service. It's just a plugin in WordPress. It doesn't have an Elementor integrations. Uh, it doesn't offer a blogging assistant. It doesn't allow you to optimize for as many keywords as you want because it's limited in Yoast. And it's not in real time giving you as you type advice. So even if it has some of it, it doesn't have all of it. So that's why we mark it with this color and all of the rest, they don't have it. So in order to really be successful with SEO, you need to create content, you need to publish, you need to have a really great experience, especially with the latest updates from Google. It's all about experience and the things to answer are is the page getting visitors are they spending time on the page do they visit other pages do they hit the back button then you need to influence SEO signals you need to find out what still needs to be done to the new pages and make the changes then audit and improve did the latest changes actually move the needle and impressions and CTR and then you need off page you need to know the links from other pages links from other sites links from social media links from your own pages from your own website and then you will start seeing how you rank and you will see your new positions and how they keep changing. So basically you take the people all the way from the moment that they search on a search engine, you take them through the complete SEO funnel and then you bring them to your site. And once you start doing this, you apply the same thing that you've seen and you will multiply your results. So you will go through this funnel multiple times and you will keep multiplying the number of people who end up at the bottom of the funnel who are your customers. So that's really, really cool. In Yoast, you can't really do that because you don't know what's going on inside the funnel. And maybe you will bring one person at one point because you're lucky somehow, but you can't build a repeatable process where you just find new people and new people find you. And then, then they turn up to be your customers and you can keep multiplying the number of people who become customers. Because with us, you have like a really complete SEO funnel. With Yoast, it's like a huge hit or miss. Uh, and usually it's a miss because even if you have customers, you have just one customer and it's not really all that great, right?
and you can't really influence everything related to the funnel so you're basically gonna be blindfolded doing SEO alright uh, non SEOs are sent to a different UI than advanced SEOs I've talked about that and you don't have to read about the 650 features because everything is done by our AI right and we've built the web dev kit request form we are going to start making this available for more users as I've said we already have hundreds of agencies using the web dev kit and we I mean we don't want to scale to more than that at the moment since it's just fresh out of beta but still we've built the form and we are going to start giving access to this very soon to other people inside our community uh, I've talked about web dev kit alpha and that it was a nice success the web dev kit was announced this year and already tested and I shown, I've shown you the web dev kit pricing page, the tier 2 prices um, and most of the Squirly SEO 2021 updates have brought massive changes into helping users gain more success and better understanding of focus pages which is also a huge reason for our success this year Right, I've talked about the changing banners and if you use the different banners Squirly SEO will now show you the difference between your previous plugin and the new plugin that you've installed we are working I mean we've actually done this already but we were working on a redirect manager and it's been created and it's currently in testing it's actually been tested at the moment where I'm doing this video and it's already implemented then in Squirly SEO so we now have a redirect manager uh, we've added the option to reactivate the ignored success messages and also the ignored tasks and next SEO goals in the past if you ignored something you couldn't really see them anymore but now even if you choose to ignore you have an option where you can reactivate everything that you have ignored so this is going to be much better for user experience and now we have more local SEO features like crazy like tons of S local SEO features that were never available in Squirly SEO before and we also have KML so you can add your uh, geo stuff to uh, Google Earth so now your business can actually be displayed on Google Earth as well not just on Google Maps and we'll start ranking higher there as well so this has been a really huge update pack I hope that you enjoyed watching the video um, there's a lot more to be said about Squirly SEO of course but you know this is the time that we've had um, and there's a lot more that you can see if you go to Twitter and you search for the hashtag SQRoad which stands for SQ from Squirly and Road because it's part of our roadmap and I will soon start showing you our latest roadmap where you can vote and tell us what you want us to build we have a new UI that is in the works and basically in a couple of months this is the UI that you will see inside Squirly SEO and I will soon ask you for your feedback on the new UI uh, and hopefully you will help us out because we've spent a lot of time doing this for you we've listened to your requests we know that a lot of you had the issues with the previous designs and because we now actually know that Squirly SEO is super valuable and the gamification is there the progress and achievements are there people are successful using our tool we can now make it actually look good so this is why we started proposing the UI changes and with this iteration we've been pretty successful so far and we will make we will ask for more feedback from our customer base very very soon so it's taking a bit to load because it's a huge file Squirly SEO is a huge software after all and it's got tons of sections alright let's try to reload it
soon we will have new announcements about um, using SEO Live Assistant with DV, WP Bakery, with the Oxygen Builder, with Breezy, with Elementor. Uh, we'll have new updates on everything that you can now import from Rank Mad and Yoast and from SEO Press because now you can basically import everything that they have. Uh, even if you've made like very sophisticated settings, you can now import them to Squirly SEO. I will talk about the update packs that we've made. I will talk about the new roadmap and what you should vote on the new roadmap. And I will show you a card where you can load the new UI so that you can check out the new UI and leave us feedback on how you find it. But apparently today is not the day for it because the Figma doesn't load. And I will have to see why. Um, and for everything else, you can go to SQ Road and you can see everything else that we've had. So we've also had updates for Education Cloud. We've had updates for Squirly Social, for new courses that we've placed inside Education Cloud. A Squirly Social is maybe 10 times better, if not even more. Uh, and it now has direct integrations with Facebook groups and Instagram of this game in 2021, we launched new products. Uh, we had one year celebration for Education Cloud. We have the V2 of Squirly Social, which has been deployed and already tested a lot. And it works on mobile now. Education Cloud Plus works on mobile now. Uh, we've introduced rank jumps. I've talked about rank jumps in this video. We've um, changed the affiliate program. We've done many updates to the affiliate program that you, that you can see here. We now have commission boosts and a lot more documentation for our affiliates and it's super easy to start selling and becoming successful and making money with Squirly SEO products and I mean not Squirly SEO products but Squirly company products like Squirly SEO, Squirly Spy, Content Look, Squirly Social, Starbucks, Education Cloud, you can sell a lot of stuff from us, even the web dev kits which bring in huge commissions. Uh, you can sell the web dev kits and you will be successful because we've now made huge updates to our commission levels. Right. Um, so yeah, we've added new courses to Education Cloud Plus, which are super interesting. We've added new updates for our Shopify app. It has new audit and new new views. It also has uh, the new cloud app, and it has the new SERP checker. So even in Shopify, you can now use the new SERP checker from Squirly SEO 2021. And there's been there have been a lot of updates there as well. On the counter marketing game which is on squally.co slash game, you can see that we've added new prizes so you can win more stuff from the Squally company. And the rest of them you can check out on SQ Road. I've tried to go through all of the most relevant ones that we've had since this year started. And thank you very much for watching this video. And I can't wait to see, uh, to see all of you and your replies uh, on the video and on the email address when I send developer updates to you. And then I will be working really hard to get more information to you available about the update packs, uh, the one in April and the one in May. Then I will work on getting uh, you up to speed with our new roadmap and with our new UI. So a big thanks to all of the Squirlians who contributed to this. This has already been an amazing year and we've still got a lot more planned for 2021. I actually. I can't wait to go through all of our next plans. We have a lot of stuff for this year and it's just it's just August. It's just like the 5th of August right now as I'm making the video and you know I can't believe that we have so much left to do this year. It's super exciting, super fulfilling and I hope that you guys will still be with us and that you will continue supporting Squirly. Thank you very much for watching this.